So we're back on Elsa, the Volvo 740. Now, you guys will remember in a recent video, we did an automatic transmission fluid drain and fill. Couple of liters out, couple of liters back in. I didn't want to do a flush because I didn't want to create any issues on an older car, older transmission, higher mileage transmission. Fluid didn't look the best. I thought I'd apply caution, just do a little drain and fill just to save myself having any major issues. But did that, everything was fine. The transmission still shifts really smoothly as it did before, no better, no worse. But there is a noise from the transmission. It's always been there. It's only slight in this recording that I'm gonna play for you. It does sound worse than it actually is. It's always been there but my attention has been drawn to it a little bit more now because obviously I've been messing with the transmission and getting a bit paranoid and things like that so I think I'm going to change the filter I think that would be a sensible thing to do to see because maybe the filter could be partially blocked so car's been sitting for a couple of days so I think that's going to drain down should have by now I thought I'd do it that way so that it's not still dripping whilst I'm working on it Crack that off. <laughs> so, I think we can just push this out of the way. We'll just remove that, I think that's best. And then we need to get this off. So that's quite a big nut, isn't it? So it's 10 mils all the way around and hopefully they don't break because I've heard more so like when you when you tighten them up it's really soft aluminium of course because of the way they are you can really easily over tighten it and you can strip the threads so yeah I, I did read about being extra careful with these bolts they really don't need to be tight at all but hopefully at least when we take them out we're not going to have any issues. So, got a piece of wood there under the jack just to hold the sump in place so I can loosen it without having to hold it. the last one no breakages there was a couple where they were started to loosen it and it started to twist and I was like oh no please don't break because yeah then you've got to dr drill through there anyway luckily no issues so let's see if we can just let this down Scary automatic transmissions, man. Oh, so you can see there the fluid doesn't look amazing, but I would say it looks it's like a reddish brown, isn't it? It is brown, but very reddish brown. So that drain and fill we did the other day has definitely done it a favor. There's like metal paste 
on the bottom of the pan. That's not good. A flush might help it, but then a flush might also put it in places where it doesn't want to be. Um, you really need to set the pan off without doubt. There's an absolute mob of people. I'll get the fluid out of it and then we'll scrape the bottom of it and we'll see how bad it is, but that's not looking good. Okay, so small cleanup operation first. Looks like someone's been injured. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get that filter off. Fluid looks okay though, doesn't it, on the bottom of there? You can see when, where it's quite thin, it actually looks okay. I think that's the governor. The governor. Um, but yeah, I don't really know. And then obviously that's the filter there. Okay, yeah, it's a T27. Someone's been in here before. Oh, someone has been in here before. That's why it feels weird. Someone serviced this before and changed this filter at some point. But look at what a mess they made of the the torques. You can see it's all chewed out. Those fuckers. That one looks okay. That one's not amazing. That one's chewed up. That's really tight. Ah, oh, you mother. That's gonna slip. So I'm gonna hit a bigger size one in there. That's all I can do. A T27, but I'm gonna have to hit a T30 in to get it out. It's just slipping out. I don't believe it. Gonna have to do this bit with the bells ringing because if I stop every time the bells ring, I'd never get a video out. It just rings all the time, especially on the weekend. They just go all day pretty much. So you can see there. It's just, which one is it? It's that one. It's just toast. It's completely chewed out. The only thing I can think to do now, because I've tried it to T27, uh, I've tried a T30, but that's spinning out of it as well. And I don't have a T35, only a T40, and there's not even any T35s in my kit. It's like it's not really much of a thing, or it's at least a rarer size. So the only thing I can think to do, to be honest, apart from drill it out, we might have to do that anyway. I think the first thing to do would be to cut, make a, a cut in it, a slit, straight across so that we can just use like a, a big flat screwdriver and hopefully crack it off that way. I don't really know what else could be done, to be honest. Well, there probably are things, but that's the only two things I can think right now, so we'll cut a slit try and crack it off that way, hopefully that works. And uh, if that doesn't work, we're gonna have to drill it out, aren't we? And then I don't know what I'm gonna do about a bolt afterwards, because 
it's gonna have to be exact the bolt isn't it so Yeah, I cut into the filter a little bit, but there wasn't really a way. Actually, I could have gone that way, couldn't I? Not that way. Oh, well, I wasn't thinking clearly. I was very, very stressed. And I think understandably so. Yeah, boys. We got it. Hopefully I didn't cut through the filter and through the piece of the transmission as well. That would be a shame, and it would all be over. Oh, we're good. There's the bloody filter. So that's the filter. You can see the mesh in there. But yeah, considering that everything is covered in this like metallic film like metal shavings this is definitely what we don't want to see i don't know if it's normal to some degree but so we've got the filter here this gasket was actually folded over and inside the box which i found a bit weird because it's twisted but hopefully that's going to be okay so as much as i would love to replace all the bolts i can't so I've managed to find a bolt. Luckily I've got, and well, unfortunately I've only got one, but luckily I've at least got this one. That's a little bit too long, but if I trim it, we can make it fit. Just needs a, a few threads taken off. It would probably be okay as it is, because I don't think it bottoms out, but we'll just trim the bolt anyway. And yeah, it's just a normal 10 mil bolt. We'll put a slightly thinner washer on it, a spring washer similar to what those are and that replaces the one that we cut up wherever it is this one and the other two are hanging in there i would like to replace them of course but it's not like i can just go somewhere out in the village and get them it's the weekend and i've got to get this done we're going on a trip in this car in about a week's time or just over a week quite a big trip and there's still quite a few other jobs that i need to do wheel bearing anti-roll bar bushes and a few other bits and pieces. There's no way, if I order these, it's gonna take, they'll probably be here midweek or so, or towards the end of the week. And it's just too late. And especially it's too late to know whether this transmission is gonna be okay or not after we do this. So uh, it's gotta be done. If we measure this bolt, it's got a washer on it that I can't remove, but that's fine. So hopefully that'll be okay. If not, I can just grind a little bit more off, but all we need to do now, of course, is get a 10 mil and just work the nut on the threads, even though it's really hot. So I put the nut on first, not to measure it, but so that once it's cut, then you won't be able to get a nut on or you won't be able to thread it into anything. So you use the nut to recut the thread. So you work it backwards and forwards so that when it comes off, the thread will be cut in the right way. Some of you probably know that, some of you probably don't, so it's a nice little tip. So here we go, new filter, 
with the o-ring on it and yeah we'll just get it bolted up Clean out this pan. You can see. Oh, there's a magnet there. That's the magnet. Huh. The magnets. Oh, there's another one there. I didn't even realise. I thought it was just. I didn't. I wasn't looking at that. And then I looked, saw this over here. I thought it was just the. I don't know what I thought it was actually. Those are the magnets. Huh. It's not even on the sump plug, so it goes to show how important it is actually to do this and take the, the pan off. And hopefully you can see the difference now. How that's actually square now, or rectangle. Whereas before it looked like a, almost like a hot dog. Like a, piece of halloumi or something, it was so squidgy and ovaled out and there was so much on that. So there we go. That looks a little bit nicer, doesn't it? So we've got our magnets there. Where's the other one? I've been too put off by doing like flushes and things like that and especially we've got transmission noise we can see that there was there'd been some wear in there we could see the debris that was in there like the metal filings that are on the bottom of the pan filter and of course over the magnet and yeah I start flushing things and I could just make it worse of course in future I need to do another change maybe a flush in future we'll see how we feel and we'll just slowly ease the transmission into the new fluid but got to say I wish I had done this sooner I wish I had done this two years ago when I bought the car when the fluid looked a lot healthier but it is what it is I think maybe the noise has improved. I think it is slightly less, but it is still there. But most importantly, the transmission shifts absolutely beautifully. I didn't think there was a problem with it before, but now that I've done this, I realize actually how far away the transmission was from being fine. And I'm not saying it's perfect, but it feels like a new gearbox. It shifts so much smoother. It shifts faster and earlier and smoother, especially when cold. It changes up when it should, it changes down when it should. It, you can feel the changes way less. Most of the time you can't even feel them at all. Really smooth, really happy. It's totally changed the characteristic of the gearbox. I wouldn't be exaggerating to say that it feels like a different gearbox has been fitted. It has made such a difference, it's unbelievable. So there we go. I would recommend it, but I'm not going to because you do have to be a little bit careful and I did roll the dice with this. I could have made things a lot worse so it is always a bit of a risk but I'm glad in this case it did pay off so happy days. <laughs>